Okay, I said that I was going to speak on this one of these days, and I'm speaking on it now. I think it's quite funny to um, hear these people talk about dark-skinned Caucasians calling the Egyptians and even Ethiopians dark-skinned Caucasians. I don't care about features because Africa is a mixture of so many different kinds of features on different tribes. It's the oldest um, place that people come from according to science. I think it's quite funny though because these same dark-skinned Caucasians would have been put into the back of the bus, discriminated against and called the N-word and some of them, many of them still are called San N-word and all that stuff. And it's just really funny how like white supremacists are trying to basically reach <laughs> and, and, you know, take from history what it is. Egyptian, I, I look at Egyptian society as a mixed society and the earliest of civilizations as black. Um, <clears throat> a lot of it being Tasseti, which basically was before Egypt and a lot of people you know, in the Sudan, that's where Tas to ah, sorry, Tasseti was. It was basically where the modern day Sudan is now. And those people moved up to create what is now known as Egypt. And there's been many kinds of invasions throughout the years to mix that society up. And there's still a mixture of different looking people there. You know, there's white-skinned people, dark-skinned people, and even in the same family, it's a mix. Uh, I have a lot of friends that are Coptic Christians. You know, a lot of the Felahin, as, you know, the farmers, or the original Egyptians, as some may call them. Um, a lot of people say this about North Africans are just white people, and that's not true. There's a lot of, uh, from what I understand, a lot of indigenous people there that are black as well. And, and you got to also look at, you know, people have said this about the Moors. There's been arguments. I liked Home Team's, um, I like Home Team's video. If you guys ever check out the Home Team channel, check it out. He really goes into detail about that. And I like the fact that he not only looked at the Moors as one group, but it was a bunch of different groups and a bunch of different movements within that culture and history. Um... It's just really funny, though, how a lot of these white supremacists will deny that there was a huge black presence in the Moorish movement. I mean, art and heraldry show you this. We don't even have to freaking prove it. It's there. You know, you, you look at heraldry, you look at art, you look at literature. It talks about Moors specifically being black, you know, dark skin, you know, tribes and all that. Yes, there were Arab Moors, there were Berber Moors, and a lot of the Berbers were mixed. I had, you know, a, a guy that I was talking to proudly tell me that he was a black man. He was basically a light-skinned Berber, you know. I thought, you know, he was a regular Afro-American or, you know, I didn't know what he was. I mean, my uncle's basically as light as that guy, you know, and he's all, yeah, I'm, I'm an African, I'm a real Berber, I'm a black man. This man told me this. So not all Berbers think that they're, you know, independent, independent of black people. And, and a lot of them are mixed. And yes, you will see white ones as well. That's the whole thing. It, it's just the thing that cracks me up is that these white supremacists will always deny history. They'll deny history and try to put black people in one category, let alone one geographic location when we pretty much like have I mean there's black people all over the world you know and and the same things the same arguments that they used to use against us now they're trying to make certain people white <laughs> you know I mean or or they say that they're not black by trying to use that whole divide and conquer technique like how they're doing with even like a lot of Asians that are black you know and, and just people are falling into it i've met i've met black arabian people i've met black latinos obviously black americans you know i mean we're everywhere it's not like the world is i mean you know black people are just in one place you know we're everywhere but back to this whole white caucasian thing 
I mean, sorry, dark Caucasian thing. The people that they're calling that are, I mean, <laughs> heck, a lot of them are as dark as I am, have the same kind of hair as many of us black Americans do. There is no freaking, like, uh, yeah, culture is different. Certain phenotypes are different. But for the most part, these same people would be discriminated against in certain places, even in America. And there are a lot of black Americans that could also fit that description as well. Because a lot of us are mixed, you know. I'm probably the one of the most African-looking people. You know, even in my family, if you look, we're all different looks. Skin tones, nose, all that. So I don't, I don't buy the whole dark-skinned Caucasian argument. It's just really funny because even back in the day, there, I wish I could remember exactly what, what it was. I will find out. Um, these Indian people wanted to, this is back in the early, earliest 20th century, wanted to basically solidify their whiteness because there is a pecking order. Racism ex- existed even, of course, then. And people knew what to do. So they made a case for them being white because they were Aryans. And they got denied because they weren't blonde hair, blue eyes, or, 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 or very light skin. And now it's just funny how, like, you have all these white supremacists that are trying to correct, you know, us black folks. Um, and even separating them. People don't understand how we look at the term black. We don't look at it the same way as many white supremacists do. We look at people and the struggles that they've gone through because of our, their skin color and, and their genetic makeup is one thing, but just their skin color and how they've been persecuted for it. And it's the same thing that's happened to us worldwide. Philippines, America, South America, you name it. Anyway, these are just some thoughts that I was sharing with you guys Yes, the whole dark Caucasian thing is a myth. They're black people.